Hello. In this video, we're going to understand something called as enumeration. Well, it meant to be the first phase of ethical hacking, but it has several modules, and that's why we have put it into the uh, different section. Other than information gathering, um, so it is a subset of information gathering. So whatsoever you going to find in this process, it is nothing but kind of information relevant to uh, the attacker. So what exactly this enumeration gonna give you? It will extract username, machine name, network resources, and shared services from the system. Well, this phase will create an active connection to the system to gain information. Uh, well, this information can tell you about uh, the system vulnerabilities, and uh, definitely this vulnerability can be exploited if it is like a very good vulnerability. So, uh, what information you can gather for from, from the enumeration process? Well, user and group information, network resources, DNS details, policies, usernames, shared resources, machine name, as well as your IP address of the target machine. Well, uh, these are you know small subsets of information, uh, but this, uh, but the result here or the information that you are getting in the enumeration process. It depends on the target system, whether they had this information or not. Well, in the information gathering, um, those, info, those informations are like, uh, it is publicly av available and that's why you are getting it. However, in this, in this process, the information is completely depend on the target machine. If it is there, then and then only it will, uh, it, it can be extracted, otherwise it is not. So maybe um, a person or a target machine has a password policy in his machine, then you can extract it. But if it is not there, then you will not uh, extract any password policies. So that, that's why it is somehow uh, independent um, from the information gathering, right? So there are various processes uh, in enumeration. There are many ways to do enumeration. And one of the best, uh, one of the first enumeration process is net bias and uh, I'm so sorry net bias uh, apologies for that so net bias information and uh, sorry net bias enumeration net bias is a network basic input and output system well uh, and why it is used it's generally used in windows operating system it is used to um, make a connection between two communicating parties either could be a client or they could be a server or maybe client to client so it works on a session layer of OSI layer, um, uh, sorry, OSI. So session layer gives you two functions. One is dialogue control and another one is synchronization. Well, you probably know what is dialogue control. It is a kind of session time between two communicating parties. So it provides that kind of time here. Well, uh, it works on ethernet, TCP, token ring, and uh, other uh, you know, communication services. The newest Windows operating system have uh, NetBIOS extended user interface, which is NetBEUI, on which uh, this service is um, currently working on. So if you are Windows 8, 8.1, 10, and uh, other operating system, which are newly um, um, discovered or being, um, I mean, it has been discovered, the NetBIOS, instead of NetBIOS, we have NetBIOS extended user interface. So there are two communication mode. One is a session mode, and another one is datagram mode. Well, in session mode, uh, it gives you connection establishment service, which means it works on definitely on TCP. Uh, however, in datagram mode, it is a connectionless service. That means it is working with UDP. And the port numbers, which is very important. So you see, the port numbers are very important here. So if you find any service with 137, 138, and 139, then definitely that connection is, uh, is of net bias. So a net bias with uh, 137, that means you are having UDP port. 138 also UDP, which means datagram mode. Uh, if you're having 139, and that means it is a session mode uh, working with TCP. So uh, I hope you understand. Uh, and uh, the information uh, you are extracting from the net bias is same again. You will get network resources, IP addresses, uh, usernames, um, uh, work groups, um, uh, maybe policies, machine name, and so on. So there are many uh, tools available uh, where you can do this enumeration, uh, such as uh, NB, NB state, uh, 
uh, tool for Windows. Uh, there is SMB client, there is uh, uh, HiNAR, there is uh, a a Win Fingerprint, NetBus, Enumerator, and so on. There are many tools by which you can, you know, extract information about this NetBIOS. So let's get started. So uh, I have one machine here as a Debian machine, and one is XP machine, which is uh, having NetBIOS service running on. And so I have two uh, users as well. Uh, let me get into the uh, here. So this is XP and this is Debian systems. So let's uh, gather something. But before that, uh, before this uh, Parrot or this Debian system, let me have my own uh, uh, host machine. And uh, this is a virtual machine, by the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to use my host machine to extract NetBIOS information. So this XP machine has an IP address, IP uh, config. You see that uh, it has 192.168.117.136. And uh, let's see. So I have this uh, NB state dash H. So this is a net, uh, sorry, NBT state. So net bias, um, this is a net bias tool. And what kind of options you are having? So you're having dash A, capital A, C, N, R, R, S, and S, and double R. So what you can do, how you can extract? Well, basically you just need to do like NBT state dash A, then we provide the IP address and let's see, 136. So when you do that, uh, uh, well in a few seconds you will see that uh, there are, uh, you will get a, oh, I'm so sorry. So you'll get a, a name a type and the status, which means uh, this Lucy for A three B six seven A D is my uh, XP machine, and you can have a type as a unique. What it is? It is a group actually. So MS Home is a work group, uh, and the status is registered. So you can see uh, this as well. Uh, let me get to the my computer here. Uh, I'm sorry. I I think I need to go to the properties. Uh, so go to the my computer go to the property and uh, you can go to the computer name and you see that uh, the result you are getting here is having the same thing see lucifer a3 b67 ad and having ms home as a work group you can see here right so um, so this is basically the um, uh, this is a computer name um, this is a username and this is a computer name basically all right uh, so if you do something like this now, uh, different option like C. Uh, I'm sorry, get into the here. Okay, so if you do like uh, NB, NBT state dash uh, A, the same thing, 7.136 and dash C. Now dash C will give you the cache information, I mean the cache table. So when I hit enter, oh, I'm so sorry, I think I had written apologies for that. You see here that uh, there is a cache table, cache name table. Um, so it gives you the IP address as well. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, definitely you know this, but uh, certainly if there are different users than uh, different other computers in the in the subnet, then you will get the IP address of them as well. And there is a time of a time a TTL five zero seven. Uh, till that time, the cache name table for this IP address is going to be stored in in the c and t uh, however if i run this command again i'm sorry i think i had done some mistake so when i hit again so when i uh, 507 and now it is 465 again if i run this uh, you see that 462 again if i run this you will 459 so you, this this ttl the time is actually decreasing every time you run this the command and why it is happening as i told you that this information is going to live for 459 seconds and after that the uh, this whole uh, entry is going to be removed from the cnt table right uh, i can show you i mean you have to wait for 459 seconds uh, but uh, we i mean you can try in your computer definitely will see the result that you will not get uh, this information after the the second the 459 second can will uh, remove so currently it is 421 so we, we will not wait for that okay so the next thing is uh, there is uh, something called as uh, smb which is uh, a kind of net bias on tcp port 139 that you can uh, that you can also run uh, so for that we have uh, 
a Debian system and let's say that how we can extract net bias information from a Debian system or a Linux system uh, for this Windows machine. So there is a tool known as SMB client and if you see this SMB client uh, well uh, basically it is a, a kind of tool which gives you the TCP uh, UDP connections uh, on a port 139 and will extract the net bias information. And so it's a server message block basically SMB. Uh, it is again a service of NetBIOS only. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run SMB client here again, SMB uh, client, and then I'm gonna give capital L here for the host, a list of hosts basically, and I'm gonna give the IP address, apologies, uh, 136. So you'll see that, uh, ask me the password. You will see that it gives me some sharing information i mean file sharing information you can see here that my c drive is actually shared it's a shared shared drive here and you can check here as well if i go to my uh, uh, go to the you can see here that c is basically shared uh, a disk here right so sorry partition here so you can see here that it is it is being uh, provided over here so if a, a print printer has been shared on on that windows machine then again that uh, that record is going to be uh, provided here as well so this is also very good because th those services are using smb and uh, which is going to be listed over here with the help of this tool smb client so this is good thing right so you had extracted so many things like uh, you have extracted ip the cache table uh, you have extracted what um, uh, drive the partition is being shared uh, but you see that uh, some information from the xp machine is not shared like uh, password policies or maybe dns details uh, maybe routing tables it is not showing you right so those services are actually disabled here from the windows xp if you enable those service definitely with the help of this smb or netbios enumerator or any other tool of netbios will gonna extract that information and then it will show you in this terminal so this is one thing um, you can uh, also use uh, other tools such as i have a win fingerprint here so win fingerprint is also a net bias enumerator tool uh, you just have to give uh, a single host uh, you can also give ip range here but you see that i have used a single host ip address that means my xp ip address 192.168.117.136 if you if you if you are not able to see this let me uh, just uh, just a second if i can use magnifier here uh, okay so it'll take some time i'm sorry yeah here you can see that uh, here you can see here that 192.168.117.136 and I have a domain information and these information I have extracted. So maybe OS version, patch le level, services, MAC addresses, net bias, shares and ping host. You can see here that uh, I got a ping result, I got an IP address as well as the uh, user, uh, sorry, user, yes, username and the computer name. I got a work a group name as well as the MAC address of that computer. And so this is good thing for me. Other thing, you, what you can do, I have another uh, Win fingerprint option, which is API level. Uh, I think it's this, yeah, this one here. You can see that there is an API. So it have not extracted any API information, but however, you can try in other operating system, you will get some result here as well. So it's the same result, but it just I had chosen another option other than this domain. So I had chosen WMI. Um, API, but it, it didn't extract anything from Windows XP. Maybe uh, these services are not there, or maybe uh, my Win fingerprint is not working precisely. But th this is one tool you can try, you can practice it. Uh, there are many tools uh, such as NetBIOS Enumerator, Hyena, SuperScan. SuperScan is actually not working right now because it is working with Windows 2000 and XP version. Uh, but that's it. So I hope you like it. We will. I'll see you in the next session with uh, other enumerators such as SMP, SMTP, or DNS enumerator enumeration. All right. So thank you so much.